G'day YouTube. This is just a bit of a quick fun comparison between Manjaro GNOME Edition, so the GNOME desktop environment on the left, and uh, Manjaro the KDE desktop edition on the, on the right there. So they are both the latest releases there. Uh, at a glance, they might look a bit similar. The background is certainly uh, very similar in nature. The, the colors, the green, the, the green accents, and the, yeah, the tones there all looking the same. But that is where uh, your eyes may deceive you because it is quite indeed different. Some people love GNOME on the left, some people love KDE, so it really does come down to your own personal preference. I actually don't really use either of these for my main uh, daily driver, that's a whole different video there. But I do enjoy the fact that KDE has like a, a traditional, more of a traditional start menu. So you can look up things, you can search for things quite easy, and away you go. Not to say that you can't do that on the uh, the GNOME side of things, but um, I don't know, let's just type in something like GAMP or, or System Monitor or something. Still looks nice and pretty, if you like it that way. I'm just more of a fan of the uh, the traditional startup menu. Call me very, very old, if you will. Uh, if we were to maybe look at the under the hood and have a look at the some of the specs now, this should all be the same, roughly the same kernel, that kind of thing. I would think to uh, have a look at the, the CPU and the RAM usage because this is where things can really change. Now, the KDE, the desktop environment, has really come a long way. It used to be well over a gigabyte of RAM on boot up, so nothing else is booted in the background, save for the operating system itself. But uh, here we go, 813 megabytes of RAM on boot up, so pretty good, not the best, certainly not the worst. Whereas we jump across to the, the GNOME side of things, and we are just shy of a thousand megabytes, even really a gigabyte of RAM there. So less optimized, I mean, call it what you will, but in the end, the KDE does tend to ha use a little bit uh, less RAM, is a little bit less resource heavy than Manjaro is, uh, sorry, the GNOME version of Manjaro is there. But that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, just a super simple, quick video. Wanted to show you that. If you like, I can show you the, the file managers. Similar sort of colors there again. Is what it is. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I hope to see all of you guys there in the next one. Cheers.